I always line my pack with some sort of a waterproof or water resistant bag. Even if I'm out in the middle of the desert, I'm still lining my bag. The basic rule that I follow is anything that you don't want to get wet goes inside the bag, meaning your sleep system, your clothing, your sensitive electronics. It's gotta be inside of some sort of a waterproof or water resistant bag. I've been on many excursions where I've seen people not use a bag because it's not gonna rain. No way, it's gonna be 90 degrees. Well, guess what? It starts dumping rain and now they've got wet, cold sleeping bags. No fun. I'm gonna run through a couple of the options that I use, starting with the contractor bag or drum liner. It's just a black plastic giant garbage bag. Get them in three mil or higher as the main liner. They're great. You can cinch them up. Now they're not totally waterproof unless you tie them off. They're great because you can lay them down as ground cover. They will hold air. You can use it as a flotation device. So it's just a multifunctional piece of gear. I love these traditional military rubberized bags. It's kind of like a canvas on the outside, simple tie down. You know, if you get these surplus, just go through them, inspect them, hold them up to the light, make sure there's no rips. Good bag, you can pick these up for like 10 bucks at the surplus store. I run these dry bags. This one's by Snug Pack. This one's by Sea to Summit. Good quality, the stuff works. I wanted to talk to you about subscriptions. Now, if you dig my content, you want to see more of it, you subscribing, sharing, liking, whatever it is you do on YouTube helps out the channel, helps me out. So I appreciate it. This is the ILBE waterproofing bag. Incredible bag because it's got this valve. You can let air out, you can seal it up and then use it as a flotation device. These are made by Sea Line. They're coming in around 50 bucks. They're tough. I've had this one for like five years. Good deal. Now I don't run just one liner, okay? For example, here on my Alice pack, I've got this contractor's liner. I also have the Sea to Summit dry bag, right? So electronics, other things can go in here. It all goes inside this main, main bag. This is my intermediate bag from the MSS sleep system. So you simply stuff it in. I don't like stuff sacks at all. I hate them. I like everything squished in to one big giant party. I see a lot of people building out their kits. They've got cool gear, it's great, but I don't see a liner. And without the liner, all that stuff is useless, okay? Because if it gets wet, imagine sleeping in a wet sleeping bag. It's torture. It's also dangerous because you can get real hypothermic real quick. No matter what the weather, no matter where you're at, use a liner. 